Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Faster Than Light. I'm Nye. Uh, we had a good game last time. Got ourselves the actual win and got ourselves a new ship. So we got the Federation Cruiser. Uh, could be cool stuff. Apparently it features an advanced weapon. I'm um, not sure if it means the uh, Burst Laser 2 or not because that doesn't seem like a particularly advanced weapon. But, you know, there you go. Let's see, it has an artillery beam. This looks like the advanced weapon it's talking about. It uh, powers a slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shield and does one damage per hit. More power means faster cooldown. Interesting. Uh, starts with four different uh, uh, crew members immediately. Uh, one of various different types. Let's see. Achievements include use only the artillery beam to destroy an enemy ship while taking no hull damage whatsoever. That could be interesting. Uh, while using the Federation Cruiser, use your crew in four special blue event choices by Sector 5. Okay. And, uh, get to Sector 5 in the Federation Cruiser without upgrading your weapon systems. Well, you know what? This sounds like something I can do, so let's get a start on this. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to put people? Let's put the NG in here with shields. Let's put the Mantis up here with weapons. Uh, let's see. Our super laser seems to be firing. Looks like it automatically fires, which is cool. Uh, gonna put some points into my burst laser, as you might expect, and, uh, also gonna put points into, uh, our engines, that way we are good to go automatically, and then we're gonna make our jump. Gonna run this like we normally do. Just gradually exploring around. Let's intervene to defend this outpost, and I'm actually just gonna wait, we're gonna see what, uh, what this weapon can do. Actually, on this one, I'm actually not going to wait, because I just realized this guy has missiles, and I really don't feel like taking damage. So, we'll just do our normal thing, and whenever this thing wants to fire, I'll be ready for it. Looks like we're definitely taking damage off these missiles, unfortunately. Fire that again, get auto-fire going like it should be. Good, their weapons are down, fantastic. Something tells me this extremely long cooldown weapon is just not going to be firing very often, so I'm not sure how useful it's actually going to end up being. And my burst laser just does not feel like firing, but that's okay, you know. Guess that will give us a chance to see what the artillery can do. Should be firing any second now. And apparently it acts just like a laser. Okay, that's kind of cool. But of course it, let's see. It said it dodges, uh, goes through all shields, right? Yeah, so it's going to be a constant source of damage for us. I actually kind of like that. Um, let's, I'm going to ignore the source for now, because there's no point. I don't have any scrap worth using. So we're going to skip that, and so we're going to keep on moving. Uh, let's attack this pirate. Uh, he does have his specialty shields, but I'm kind of hoping that our uh, artillery beam is going to be able to ignore that. Chances are I'm just going to have to upgrade that artillery beam. Looks like we got another set of missiles, gonna take a shot directly to my weapons, but the good thing is my artillery beam does not care about weapons in the slightest. We are gonna start taking damage though, and that's not good. Okay. Here comes another missile directly to my uh, shields, so that's fantastic. You, get back in here, get those going. Uh, burst laser is finally back online. And we are just taking damage on all fronts here. Pretty fantastic, if I do say so myself. Yeah, this is this is good. I like this. There's another shot that we take. Okay, well, at least the artillery did okay. Uh, it didn't do a lot of damage, but it did enough. We've taken a good seven points of damage or so. Oh, now they don't want to fight. Now they wish to run away. Well, you know what? I really don't feel like fighting them run. I may just be a vindictive prick here, but okay, and now they've broken my artillery. Now I'm kind of upset. You lot are gonna die. No, you're not jumping. As you saw, their jump was uh, imminent. Okay. Get these guys going. You get in here, and uh, we need to start getting shields going. So I'm not sure how I feel about this artillery laser. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be a little bit more useful than it looks so far, but it kind of looks more like a gimmick than anything right now. I'm hoping that uh, later on you'll be able to upgrade it to actually do more damage or something to that effect. I'm not sure if that's actually going to end up happening. Uh, 
Uh, should be able to kill this thing no problem. Kind of worried about that beam weapon though, especially because my shields are going to be offline for another uh, seven seconds or so. Let's, okay, there's the weapons gone, and we're going to get through another storage cache. Is it just me, or does, uh, nope, not going to say it. It's pretty obvious as it is. Okay, let's, uh, keep firing. Let's see, we got a 20% evade chance, not bad. I kind of like having four crew members to start with. I feel really good about that. And even though we don't kill it right now, the artillery is going to handle the rest of the job. Thank you, artillery. Let's investigate the station, find nothing useful. Okay, I'm kind of curious. Does the artillery... Nope, just one damage per room. Okay. I was kind of curious if it would ever get better, but apparently it won't. That's fine. I mean, it could become a decent source of damage later on down the line, so, you know, there's that. And, of course, we're going to find another, another ship, another way to take damage. I'm going to start opening doors as usual. See if I can make sure that when the damage comes, we're not taking a lot of it. Here we go. Where is that going to spread to? Good, a room I had already opened. I'm happy about that. O2 is low, but, you know, we kind of knew that was going to happen. And, I mean, we've got a decent amount of stuff. Right now, we're more just doing this one for fun. I don't think there's any, uh... I don't think there's any reason to try to be super serious about this particular run. After all, we did just beat the game. Uh, now it's more a question of unlocking every weapon and working on from there. Got ourselves another automated fight. Luckily, it's a beam weapon on this thing, so I'm not too worried about the beam weapon. So we'll just let it do its thing. Guess I'll close these doors, though. And its weapons are offline. Fantastic. I like that. And we'll just keep on blasting away. I'm wondering how good this thing will get if you actually do upgrade the artillery beam to fire every 20 seconds. It kind of feels like it could be powerful, but it also feels like it could be a gimmick that you'd spend a lot of scrap on and not get a lot out of. So, I'm kind of leaning both ways here. Guess we'll just have to test it and see what happens. That said, remember, uh, next episode, depending on how this goes, uh, we're still going to have a chance to uh, see the... Um, cloaking ship that we haven't even seen yet, so we do have a lot more to go exploring with. Okay, let's aid a civilian ship. Still doing pretty okay. I don't like that I'm seeing so many missiles, though, because we're taking a decent amount of damage off of them. I would like to see a little bit more of uh, beam weapons, uh, normal uh, lasers, things like that. I'm doing okay, but, you know, I would just appreciate not seeing so many missiles. I appreciate dodging all of them, though. I mean, I like that. That's always good. And there's a bit of damage. Okay, Burst Laser, let's get rid of their weapons, huh? Thank you. I really appreciate that. Well, let's see. The artillery is going to get to do something in just a second. And then... There goes that. Contact the civilian ship, and let's see, two missiles, a drone part, and 16 scrap. Awesome. Let's see here. Okay, let's see here. I want to upgrade... Not sure what I want to upgrade, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm going to upgrade the super weapon, just so it has a little bit faster time. I think that's, uh, what, 40 seconds now? Yeah, it's at 50 seconds. I mean, that's... That's okay, that's, uh, how many shots of the burst laser? So that's about th three and a half shots of the burst laser before that's going to be ready. So, okay, could be better. It looks like it's going to be expensive to upgrade, though, so I'm not so sure about it. Looks like they did pop a uh, drone of some sort. Probably a repair drone, so i got to be careful about that. Uh, the only weapon I have right now is my burst laser, too, so, um... You know, the big point right now is just to break their shields and uh, to break their cockpit. Should be pretty easy to do, though. I only have one shield, and uh, I have 
my burst laser too. So we should be okay on there. Um, now the one thing I'm, go I'm foreseeing being a problem is going to be going into the later... Uh, um, what's what I'm looking for? Going into later sectors and only having a burst laser 2 to play with. The super weapon's nice, but uh, I don't think it's going to be able to do the job. I really don't. Okay, so this time we have another... So we have missiles this time, and a beam drone to take care of. Now, I'm not worried about the beam drones. The missiles that, that uh, concern me. Uh, because if they break my... Um, if they break my shields efficiently, that beam drone's going to get through. And, of course, auction went down, of course. I mean, makes sense, right? Of course my auction's going to go down. Okay, so those missiles are offline for the time being. Going to get another burst laser shot off. Let's put this guy into there real quick. I really kind of wish I could control this super weapon. It's so far, it's been pretty good about deciding about uh, good angles to shoot at, but uh, I kind of wish I had a bit more control over it. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade my doors and I'm gonna upgrade my power just a little bit more, so that way I can get uh, more power to the engines. And we're doing, we're doing okay so far. It's not a, an amazingly good run. We're at half health already. But we got tons of fuel. We got missiles, in case we ever get a missile weapon. Uh, we're doing okay. Could be better, but doing okay. Okay, I got another one of these. Of course we do. Yeah, I'm leaving it unpaused on purpose. Oh, no, want that one closed. Man, I would really like to keep our shields online. Let's get more points from there so we got a better dodge percentage. Yeah, that's kind of why I want my shields online. Do not want to be taking damage off of stupid crap like that. Come on, give me my shot. Beautiful. Still taking damage, though. Not liking this. We're going to take another beam damage, most likely. Not going to accept that surrender, though. Thinking about it, but not going to do it. Not worth it. Damage is done. Awesome. Still taking more damage than I would like. Okay, there's that, but that sh those fires should peter themselves out fairly quickly. Going to jump directly to the exit, because so I don't want to be sitting in here with that sun any longer. What did we find? Let's download the ship's data stores. Fantastic. Not that it helps us, because we are leaving this sector immediately, if not sooner. Make our jump to the next sector. Uh, I'm going to start going towards the Mantis-controlled sectors and towards um, Nebulas. The reason why is that we only have a couple more, uh, three more ships to find. One's Mantis, one's Slug, and the uh, third is the Unknown Ship, and that's a specialty thing. Here's one blue option. Drone Recovery Arm, which would be good if we uh, ever get drones. I'm not going to... Not going to pretend that's off uh, off the uh, table for now, but I don't really intend to do it for the time being. Let's see, that reduces this to a 30 second cooldown. I am kind of going towards the um, uh, achievements, as you can probably guess. Not focusing too hard on them, but uh, I'd like to see them happen. This guy has a lot of weapons. But, uh, let's see, he's got a bomb, a beam missile, and a hull laser. Not too worried about the hull, uh, about the, that weapon setup, but the bombs could be obnoxious. So I am going to want to see if I can take their weapons online, just get rid of the bombs. The other two, not worried about, will be able to weather those just fine. There go those. Uh, no, FTL should not be charging. FTL should go the hell away. Man, that beam has a lot of range. Okay, they should be gone on the next uh, next firing off this burst laser too. You know what I would like to see? I could see a burst laser three going well with a super weapon. I'm not sure how likely that is, but I could see it. Okay, let's keep exploring. Now this is gonna be kind of bad. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to backtrack. Uh, trying to go around that other way would put me way too far away from the exit. 
waste a little bit of fuel, we should still be fine. Why do I keep on finding so many suns? I don't want to fight here. I don't appreciate this. Okay, so here come these guys. Now, unfortunately, I, do, I only have the doors up to level two. So this could easily become very, very bad. You guys get out of there. Oh, great. Okay. Actually, what am I doing? I want some of these to stay open. I'm gonna need to get guys in here relatively quickly, though. This is gonna suck. Okay, those guys left. Looks like my weapons are probably gonna go offline. Potentially? Oh, different weapon set. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna jump out of here and then we're gonna fix that uh, hull rift. Because it's just too risky to try to do it here. You get in here, you get in here, you can actually, you stay the hell right, you stay right there. So I want to be able to jump as soon as humanly possible. Looks like we did still get a little bit of fire damage on us, and of course we jump right into a place like this, that's fantastic. Put a point into their burst laser to their weapons. Now luckily I got decent shields, so I'm not... Again, not incredibly worried about where we are right now. But we are going to be taking some damage, and there's really nothing I can do about that. Okay, are you going to be okay? No, you need to get the hell out of there. The damage is already done, so it's not as if, you know, him... It's not as if this being on fire. Actually, you get over here, let the rock crew member get in there and take care of that. And you get this repaired, so that way we can fire that off faster. Get in there to repair that, and you can get out. Okay, I need to find myself a store. Because as you can see, things are not going well for me without a store. Get the rock crew member nice and upgraded, and healthy, and, you know, the words that I'm trying to use, those things... With that into there, why do I feel as if I should have one more point of energy somewhere? Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Another one? Really? And we are definitely taking damage off of this, and there's nothing we can do about it. That missile launcher is just going to make life hell for me, isn't it? Yep, of course it is. Okay, well, you know, that's interesting. And we're just not going to get any damage on this thing. No, want this to go here. Where's that landing? The next room. Got it. At least it didn't, at least it didn't uh, cause a fire this time. Wow, we're just not hitting these guys. Their evasion is off the charts. Okay, I mean, they're, I mean it's on the charts, but I don't have any charts. And we apparently unlocked an achievement, Slice and Dice. Not sure what that is, but, you know, it's there. It's good. Okay, two missiles, drone part, and 22 scrap. Fantastic. I'd like to leave now. Can we leave? Come on, come on, come on. Leave, leave, leave. Thank you. Risky stuff. Okay, uh, intelligent life form. Try to communicate. Uh, actually, this time it worked, apparently. Uh, we find and reactivate an old NG. Fantastic. I, I now have two NGs on the squad, and hey, I am glad to have you as part of the team, dude. All the power to you. Um, you know what, I'm going to waste a fuel, I'm going to jump to this last sector real quick, just to see if there's anything interesting in here. Okay, I can live with a fight like this. This is a fight I can deal with. Because this is a fight I can win. Might take a little bit of damage off of it, though. But my shields should come back online fast enough to not take any more damage off of it after that. Man, I would really appreciate if my burst laser actually hit. Come on, guys. I said fire past their nose, not up it, except the other way around. 
Fire up their nose, not past it. Jeez. But, yet again, our artillery actually does decent damage. It's so weird to say artillery when we're talking about a weapon that does not have any shells. Okay, well that was decent. We're going to be making our way out with little more than a, uh... Absolutely nothing. Let's jump to the next one. We're going to go to the rock-controlled sector this time. Probably not the best idea I've ever had, but, you know... No one said I was smart. Okay, uh, we're gonna fight the mercenary ship because, again, no one said I was smart. Actually, this is gonna end up killing us. Uh, look at those armaments. I probably should have looked at those ahead of time, huh? Oh, and they have a breach drone, really? Okay, you get back here, you get up there, and let's work. Let's work this out. Actually, you know what? Take care of that breach first. Let's do that. Wow. Nope, can't open that. You, in here, put that fire out. Wow, I feel, uh, I feel incredibly good about all this. I really do. We got a breach here in the oxygen, or in the ship, and the oxygen control center is currently offline. Oh, that's good. Put a point to that real quick. Okay, you get in here, keep our shields online. Uh, they're offering a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to accept, because I'm going to be dead anyways. Okay, guys, well, it's an interesting ship. Uh, we're going to put more time and effort into it later on. Uh, I know this was a very, um, what's the word I want to look for? Unimpressive run. I completely agree with that. I did not do very well at all here. But, uh, next time we'll do better, and with next time after that, yeah, now we know how the ship works. I'll see you guys then.